What's up guys? The Matco truck's outside, so let's go take a look, see what Michael's got. What's the matter, Bill? Yeah, need one over hot tamales. You done, Phil? Show sure enough. A little double action on it, so you can do two jobs in one, right? Almost. Uh -huh. Bill has got some new hand cleaner in there we've been using. It's called a meal brand. Hands don't look like little babies now. That's 750 lumens. 750 lumens for 89 bucks. You can't beat it. That's mm. bright. That's your color. Yeah, we gotta keep green stuff just for you. What did that one run? 89 bucks. Oh. He's paying attention today, wasn't he? <laughs> I want to come up that one. He was paying attention. Sure enough. How long did the battery supposed to last on that? Uh, uh, looks like two hours. Let's see here. On high, an hour. On low, ten hours. Well, that's a big difference, ain't it? Mm -hmm. What's the low loneliness, does it say? <coughs> uh, looks like a hundred. Seven fifty on high, low on a hundred. You just press it again, don't you? Yeah. There you go. Don't see it very bright on low. No, that's a hundred lines on low. Magnetic base? Yep. Ah, uh, you put it up against that toolbox. Got <laughs> a good magnet on it, don't it? Yeah, that's one of them you have to put the tape on the bottom. You know, I've done learned a trick. And every time you set them down, they get all kind of crap stuck to it, you know? Yep. So I started putting painter's tape across the bottom, and then when your magnets get there, you just rip the tape off and you're good to go. Whatever works, right? That was it. He ain't never had to pick magnetic shavings off of us. One of the rare earth magnets, you're missing out. Like that's a bundle of fun right there. <laughs> a little butter slivers will tear you up, won't it? Say a bundle of fun, huh? Break cute. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, the case is broke. The case is broke. Yeah, you can't have some stuff, you know. Wow. I was gonna drill it and put a pin through it. One of the guys on the truck was looking at it and broke it, but that's okay. What's the price on this? Uh, let me look and see. I'm selling it for dead cost because the case man broke. Dead cost. Does dead. that mean like after it's been dead a week or like just fresh uh, died? Okay. There's a big difference. <laughs> when it gets to spanking, it gets cheap. No <laughs> deal. Yep. It smells like, damn it, who done it? That's, that's the bargain <laughs> days right there. I don't think you don't have your size boots either, Bill. What size do you wear normally? 12 or 13, usually 12 in boots. Made that small or yeah. big, I guess. That'd be the proper word, big. Why do you keep getting all these midget clothes? Who wears a medium? Uh, what? Oh, you must be running over there to the junior high. <laughs> <laughs> running over to the Motec program. I don't know anybody that can wear a medium. 
Me, Bill. I know one guy who works at Truck Center down in Tupelo, or did. He jumps around from job to job, so I imagine he's probably working down the road now. But yeah, he was a little video fella. A medium? Man. We'll be there. I bet that's our stuff right there, Bill. It is. Uh, it looks like 107 for that brake set there. And that's what a rope box? Yeah. I can drill a pin in that for that part. Rope box. The tools ain't hurt. No, but I want the key in case to be in good shape. I know it. I need to drill it and put a pin in it. I don't want think I got over on. I'll be honest with them. Choices, huh? I'm gonna have to pass. I got to. And it's not because of the broke case. That is a nice set, though. What about the, rig, the pliers? Just the pliers themselves. The big one. You got any of them separate? Like that? You know what we call Bill? Special order Bill. That's it. Everything has to be special order. Well, he wants the hot stuff, that's for sure. Special order Bill. That's okay. Y'all's cases ain't lifetime warranty? Uh, I haven't that Man, you're gonna have to call Matco and tell him to. Fix that. Well, I don't know. That's what I said. I don't know if it is or not. It uh, it happened this week, so I ain't had a whole lot of time. To... Twenty-seven dollars, Bill. That's your special order, huh? Special order, Bill. What's the price on that kit normally? If the box was good, I got to roll that around in my head. That's that's pretty pretty solid for that kit. Well, when it first come out. They were running about $1.99. And I got it on sale a couple of months back. So it, it was running for like $1.28 on sale. But, uh, so I got it. If the case wouldn't be broken, it was still on sale, it'd be $1.28. Yeah, I have to roll that around my head for a minute. I wish it had the metal pin, but these cases do. It wouldn't be hard to, to do that. It just take a drill bit. Are these the Nipex ones? Yes. That's the quick adjust. So you don't have the teeth on the back side. What's the difference in the price between that three piece set and the regular? You know, the Cobra. You know what we need to do? What's that? Convert everything over to Nipex. Then we'll take all of our channel lock junk, our cheapo junk, and the Stanley junk, and the Harbor garbage freight junk, and we'll tack weld it all together. And we'll make like one of those arches. You know, like when you go to weddings, you know, it's got those arches you can walk through. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah. Put Christmas lights in. Redneck. That way, they'll actually be something useful on junky ass pliers. Alright, what did you say the difference was? Uh, it's about $16 difference, and the quick set here is actually $16 cheaper. Really? Yep. Well, they're not in a pretty case. No. We're on cases today. Feels cases. Hey, I, I understand it. I like cases too. I have some people that that say they just throw the cases away, and then I have some people that say that's like life and death to have a case. Yeah. Bill is life and death to the case. Where's the new scanner at? Right here. 
Absolutely love it. I uh, I've played around with it, got used to it now, and uh, I used to be one of the ones that always preferred the factory scanner because yeah. I worked at a dealership. I, I would have gladly gave it up for this one. It uh, which demo you want to do? Yeah, I haven't even watched the demos, so I don't even know what they do. <clears throat> you gotta put a forward on there, you know what I'm saying? Well, you know. I'll put a forward on there. That four's got all kind of problems, don't it? Mm hmm What are you trying to say? I ain't trying to say a word. You trying to dog a forward? I am not. I just said that one had a lot of problems. Well, we know that's about they that's probably the only way they can get fault codes on a forward is to uh Oh come on. So as you can see, one of the big complaints in the past was leaving the dongle yeah. in the car. Well this one if you leave it in there, it's because you're deaf. You just, I mean, it's going to scream at you every single time. So I really like the features of that, but I also like scrolling over and going to the max fix. And this is the cool part to me. is when I can actually select a vehicle. Which, like I said, later on we're going to follow up and do one. Now, I worked on Toyota, so that's what I'm going to go to. So it's going to fill in the engine for me. And then it's going to give me the options of what, what I need to look up. So say I was doing something in engine management. It's going to give me the OBD drive cycles, emission controls, uh, if I was working on uh, electrical, I could click on it. It's going to give me some different instructions on how to do some stuff there, uh, which is really cool there. Let me go into, let's just say airbags. Gives me a disarming procedure, arming procedure, component locations, component service, precautions of it. Gives me all kind of different options, how to revac, rehab charge. It even tells me how to do an alignment, which I think is pretty cool there. You have the possibility of uh, looking up technical service bulletins for certain codes yeah. and stuff like that, which is really nice there. I really like the wiring diagrams myself. Uh, to me, that's about the best uh, that they've been, which when you search on these, it's actually 100% just like the actual uh, what Toyota had. It's exactly like theirs, which really surprised me because that's one of the complaints that I always had about the uh, aftermarket. I couldn't read the wiring diagrams just as easy. So I'm just going to go into engine, go into say charging system, and then it's actually going to pop up. 
the uh, wiring diagrams for it. Now I've got it blowed up, but uh, as you can see, it's just everything is in color, which makes it a lot easier. And then I can pull up any of them. And look at them, which there's only one there. But so I really liked them. Uh, there we go. There's a good example of it. Mm -hmm. uh, press too many buttons. I got it jumping around now. But when we hook it up to a car, you'll see when we go into the data list and stuff like that, just how how exact it is. So you can see there, it, it, it gives it, and then I can scroll over and see the rest of it. So it also cuts out all the jibber-jabber. You know, some, when you click electrical, it gives you everything instead of breaking it down. So I like it that I'm actually able to break it down and look at each system like I want to. Yeah. Uh, this also gives you your maintenance schedules and stuff like that. It, you type it in and, and it'll it'll help you there. So this is just all around to help the uh, the technician, which if I wanted to type in a code, which I don't know what code I'm gonna type in, but I'm gonna type it in. may want me to actually know a code. Yeah. What's a code that sets all the way? P420? Yeah. We have to do all the little cars. Yeah. Well, I don't know nothing about big trucks. You got me beat there. But um, when... Let's see. There you go. So it gives you the code, what they are. And again, they worked with the factories here, so it's 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 generic to the vehicle. You know, a lot of your aftermarket scanners, it'll have all the ones that are the same, but then mm -hmm. they miss out on some of the ones that were specific to that brand. Mm -hmm. So this one's really not. The cool feature about this one that we've talked about in the past, here in a couple of weeks, it's gonna be able to do your big trucks as well mm -hmm. when the HD box is, is configured with it. But, so I really like, I really like the max fix there and course uh, when we hook it up you'll get to see just how fun it is to actually go through and know what you're what you're doing but it gives you tech to tech so you can talk to people uh, that's also got this computer you can talk to them see what they've seen and stuff like that it lets you save uh, reports and it also when you're doing it when you when you actually hook it up to a car it'll give you the capability of saving the data list. So say you, you fix one, you save the data list, the next time one comes in it's messed up, it'll compare the data list to each That's other, that way you'll know what's going on. So a lot of our dealerships, what they'll do is when they're doing PDIs, they'll go ahead and hook this up, they'll save it because it's a PDI, it's a brand new car, and then later on in the future when they start getting problems with them, they'll be able to go straight to these saved data list be able to just compare them right. which the scanners won't re light it up red if it's in the in, in wrong but you're still gonna want to know what's what's right how far yeah. off it is you know where, where do I need to look so gives you a start it does so let's just you know it's it's already got heavy duty on the screen it's already got the maintenance reset on the screen overall just a, a down-to-earth technician scanner on this one I really well, we like need it. to do a video on that that's yeah, because I didn't really do it any justice there. If anybody was on the fence right then, I don't think I gave them enough to really show them why. Right. But when we hook it up, I, I hooked it up. I think my wife got mad at me because I, I was out playing with it one night and uh, it was 10, 30, 11 o'clock. But, you know, hey, I was on to play with it. So I uh, played around with it, got to see some of the cool features of it. I'd rather have this one than a, than a factory train computer. Wow, that's um, awesome. I said factory train computer, but factory program computer. It, just the stuff, it, it don't hold you back. And it also, it, it, 
gives you all the data at once, but you get to pick what you want. Um, but I like to I like to be in a compare. I like to be in a look at TSBs. You know, you, you've always heard in the past that people say, oh, they're making cars to where it's going to have to go to the dealership. That's what that computer right there is taking care of. What's the name of that one? That's the Max 3.0. Max so, is 3. Yeah, that's the Max 3.0. And then it runs the Max Fix on it as well. So it, it uh, I'm ready to get the HD box with it. That way we can really do some fun. But oh, yeah. We need to we need to get it hooked up to a car here soon and really show everybody what all it can do. All right, well, that sounds good to me. All right, guys, we're gonna turn this thing off, get Michael paid up, and uh, we'll show you what we got. All right, guys, y'all seen uh, Michael had a lot of stuff on there today, and also a pretty cool preview of the new scanner. So let me show you what we bought today. Me and Bill bought the exact same thing. Let me come over there and I'll show you what's up with this thing. And the way it works is it's a valve core wrench, but it's spring loaded here and it grabs the valve stems and they lock in it so they don't fly off everywhere. So there you go. I think this little bad boy was 1850, I believe. There's no part numbers on it, no markings on it. It's just Mueller Cooker or whatever that is. I don't know. But after careful examination of my receipt, the uh, part number is a VCW for three seven right there bcw 437 so there you go all right guys like always thanks for watching the video if you like this video be sure to hit that thumbs up click that subscribe button it's totally free it's right down there that way you guys won't miss any videos so there you go hope you all have a great weekend and we will catch y'all next time